afternoon all it's Nicole here the North Island stitcher from New Zealand it is only the 2nd of January 2024 and it's just after four o'clock in the afternoon it's a hot and muggy day today not ideal but it is what it is right I know it's been a while since I've done a video I've had a lot going on work wise personal wise it's just not been the best end of the year overall but it did end in a really great note which I will get into later on. I'm going to be doing a whip parade of everything that I've worked on this year whether I've finished it or not the only one I won't be showing is a piece that I'm working on for the Christchurch retreat. Apart from that everything else I will be showing and the ornament that I sent through with my ornament swap because I don't have it it's already with the recipient um, which she loves it which is awesome. It's always a good bonus when that happens. I'll also at the end of my video after I've shown my whips I'll be showing um, gifts that my 15 year old daughter made for us all for Christmas except for my stepdaughter Charlotte's because she took it home to her mum's. So that'll get shown in my next floss tube. Um, apart from that I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. I hope that you have had a really good start to the year. If not I hope it gets better. And I want to thank everybody has, that has stayed subscribed to me. And I wish everybody a really, really good 2024. Um, yeah, there's not much I can say about that one. <laughs> let's just hope 2024 is a good year. So let's get on with all the whips that I've done. Now I'm not going to show them in any particular order because to be honest I can't remember the order I stitched them in. So let's start with my lovely big pile here which is all my whips and finishes. So we're going to start with Sunset Leap, which is an artsy design. I haven't done much more except for I've just finished the page of that one. So this is Sunset Leap from Artsy. I think it's Artsy. We'll soon find out if I'm wrong. Yep, Sunset Leap from Artsy and I've worked in this corner here. This one was a gift from Judy and Ozzy in a Kiwi world. Hi, hope you're feeling better. So that one is the first whip that I worked on this year. I just basically finished the page on that one. The next one that I worked on was, well that's all, no that's, um, this is Arwen from Pain Free Crafts. I can't show a picture of it at the moment because right before I started filming I realised my tablet was flat so I've just got to give it a few minutes to charge up a little bit. But this is Arwen, my progress on Arwen from Pain Free Crafts. This one is stitched on 28 count. So that one's where I'm up to with that one. If you hear little noises I do apologise. It is school holidays over here so I have a little noisy three little noisy people one you just heard I repeat I'm not showing these in any particular order now this one is my own design that I'm just designing up as a go um, this is where I'm up to with this one no beads attached as of yet but this is where I'm up to with this one and eventually I will get it charted up but that's where I am with that one. It's in the Orca 1 bag because I finished Orca 1, which I know I showed in a previous floss tube. So we'll just pop all these away. I'm missing my little helper. So the next one I work don't know if I worked on but I know I worked on it this year is the Christmas Eve sampler when I started back on this one ages ago it was way down below here so now I've completed all of this and the little mouse with the stocking and this is Joan Elliott's Christmas Eve sampler that's where I'm up to I'm nodding no to my children if you're wondering why I'm nodding or shaking my head they always like to pick the times I'm busy to try and ask for things.
The next one will be a chart I had bought a long time ago. Since found out it's not um, legit, but I'm not going to waste threads or anything. So this is of an owl. It's supposed to be done on 11 count, but I've swapped it out for 25 count because I don't need, you know, heaps and heaps and heaps of big ones. These ones will be nice and fit on a bag even. So this is an owl that's just a lot of white background. So I'm not really going to show the picture of that one, but you'll see it as it comes together. So that's that one. This one is Encountering Dragons from Artisy. This was a chart that I was rewarded for finishing Orca 1. And I basically got straight into starting it up. Got a little bit of, quite a bit of progress in on it. That's where I'm up to with Encountering Dragons. Let's see if my tablet will show me what it is. It will. I do apologise for the lead hanging off it, otherwise I'm not going to get very far with it. It's literally it's only got 2% power in it. That was clever. Dragons way down the bottom. And this is the chart encountering dragons. Oh, Scott, sorry for the glare. Try and fit you in, in between the sunny bits. That's encountering dragons. So we'll go out of there, leave that just on the main page. that over to Miss Helper to put back in the bag for me. Miss Helper today will be Miss Ten. Next one that I worked on at some point this year is Colours of Spring from Pain Free Crafts. After I had finally put in the detail all the progress that I had done um, on them after my tablet got stolen um, so I, when I did put all the information back into it I just did a bit more stitching of her I think her hands look gorgeous well that hand anyway details really awesome so we'll just I should just pass them to my helper The next one I worked on is Swallows and Sakura, another Pain Free Crafts kit that I had purchased. Not as much on it as I would like. That's as much of the progress that I have got done on that. And the image is this one. Uh, I think the artist, yeah, Marine Loop. I've got a few of hers. So I'm just going to pass to my little helper. Not so little helper since she's 10. Saying I can say her name, Chelsea. The other one that I've got absolute heaps on. Which I was really, really pleased with the pr progress of this one is Snow Tiger. It's this one. I can't find the cover page that came with that, but this is the progress of Snow Tiger. That's the edge of the charts here. So I've done all, all of these up here, and I've just got some more paws to get in. As you can see, it's the outline of his paw. And that one is called Snow Tiger. Oh, actually, if I show you the needle minder, you'll see which one it is. That is Snow Tiger. So 
I don't know how long this one's going to be because it's going to be a while, this one. Then there is Marvellous Garden from Heaven and Earth Designs. I got a good amount into this before I changed whips. This one's on 25 count. Never thought I'd actually go to there. I blame Darren, Dizzy Stitcher, for that. So this is Marvellous Garden. I will show you a picture of that, Chelsea. Grab that. That's Marvellous Garden. Oops, that's the power back up. Drop. Where we are at with that one. Might just pop the power back up beside the lap legs, then it won't fall. Um, this is another kit I bought ages ago, well before I understood copyright issues. This is of um, a stamped horse kit that I've got. So it's got a bit more of the darker colour in. These ones I tend to do when I'm sick of not feeling too good because they're easy to stitch. Next one is Angel from Tilton Crafts. I actually got a fair bit in on this one before I changed whips again. So that's where I've got to with that one. Last time I stitched on that I just had this big hunk of blue in here, lots of different blues in there. And I added to it by putting in all of this area in here. So that is Angel from Tilton Crafts. Apologies if I come out of view of the camera. Oh. And that is Angel from Tilton Crafts. Next one is Flora Graphica from Jan Hex Creates. The printout's not the best, it's a bit hard to see, but I'm sure many of you know of this particular design. paper chart this one. Some I have as a paper chart and some I have as a, or as a on pattern keeper. I definitely do prefer pattern keeper. So that's where I'm up to with Florographica. Next one is Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Yeah. This one was another one of those ones that I had to re import all the progress that I'd made, and I haven't done re imported all of it, but I have re imported it way up to here so that I can continue at least along here and eventually I will get it all re imported. But that's this part here that I was stitched on, which was a lot in here and a fair bit of the browns in here. This is Once Upon a Fairy Tale. So I still haven't re imported everything from some of my charts, one of them being Dream Type, the Tigers one that I've got from Charting Creations. Um, because that one was literally all over the place. It's going to take a while to redo that one. Another one I worked on today, uh, this year. I started this one. I haven't done much on it. It's a pretty small start on this one. And that is Victorian Charm, a Dimensions kit. It's 
sorry for the glare. It's a bit better. So we'll zoom in on that bit. Not my face. We do need to get a bit more done on this one. It's got a few extra white fibres on it from my white cat. And that's all I got done on it. Not enough. But we'll get that sorted this year, I'm sure. The next one I worked on... Most of these bags that you're seeing are ones that I've made. This one is my Happy Mood Point Sal. And I'm using various different silks in it. Mainly the burgundy. They're all from Silks For You. And it's as far as I got with this one. Don't need to see where I'm. There we go. And that one is. Let me see if I can find this one. This is the Mary Poppins sale, not the Happy Mood Point. There we go. That's that one. Chelsea. Next one I am showing is the turtle, sea turtle from Pain Free Crafts. Might see you. I do have a lot of Pain Free Craft kits. Again, I did a bit of stitching on this one after I had re-imported all the information. After, again, when my tablet got stolen, which some of you will recall. And I was able to re-import a lot of the information. And I ended up filling in a lot of the greens and blues in along here. After I had re-imported the info, I figured, well, since I've done that, I might as well get some of the stitching in. little helpers getting a bit too involved in Minecraft. Next one I did some work on which I started in May at the local Embroidery Guild retreat was Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. Now we all know what that one looks like. And the fabric I got from Catherine at Country Stitch. I think it's perfect for this piece. Now if you don't know what it looks like, you need to know that's the Shores of Hawkron Hollow. It's the only one of them that I like. So it's the only one that I've got. The other one I started, which was back in January at the Stitchy Get Together in Wellington. And that is Arctic Blast. Carolyn Manning design and that's this one and I did do some more stitching on it after I last showed it and this is where I'm up to not as much as I should bearing in mind I haven't uh, I don't stitch as much as I used to since I started my full-time job back in February this year. That one's got quite a bad day. Okay, this one I got absolutely heaps, so I've never been so monogamous as I was when I started this one. This is Rainbow Dragon, I think, from Charting Creations. Yeah, 
this one. Rainbow Dragon from Charting Creations. And this is my progress on him to date. I've got absolutely heaps and on this one. And I don't normally show my backs. But I do generally try to keep my backs really tidy. But that's me. It's up to the individual to how they like to stitch. So we'll just pop those back into there. one I've been working on recently is Naoko from Pain Free Crafts. I started this as my birthday start this year. My birthday was on the 11th of December. Way too close to Christmas because generally birthday and Christmas get combined. So this is my start on Naoko which is this one. And that's my start on her. I'm just over 6% stitched off her. I need to sit up there before it falls down, sweetie. The other one that I've got, and I know a lot of people have um, been stitching this one, a lot of people have it finished, and I would have had it finished except the personal st stuff popped up. Personal stuff popped up and I was unable to actually stitch on it. Needed to have the right mindset. But, it's getting sorted. And this is Sugar Plum. Plum Village from Shannon Christine and I'm using Thread Picker Silks Total Conversion um, I think it's California fabric from Sparklies and that's where I'm up to I've got a heap done on it that's because I'm stitching on it at the moment so it's just to put the threads in my girl's looking at me weird because the Q-snap doesn't fit in the bag. <laughs> I do want to get this one finished this year. So I can have it hanging up for Christmas this year. Capricorn by Sparkly's not. California. I was close. Starts with the same day. The other ones that I've stitched on this year and have actually finished this one which was Pink Lady. Some of you will remember that. That's stitched on 28 count. And Starry Skies which is a long stitch kit. So that was a finish this year. Long awaited finished long dog sampler. One of the foursome reels. The longer one. These are all with thread picker silks. And the main thread being a silks for you, all the rest with it picker silks. Really, really happy with that finish. The other finish I had, which many of you have already done, was Cat Lovers. And I changed the colour of all the cats to represent various members of our family. 
cats that we've had in our family. This one being Chico, who was with a friend of ours, the black cat. Milo, which is my daughter's cat at her father's house. And we have Paws, our cat here, who is a white cat. And we have Jake, who was my husband's cat when he was a kid. And then we have another friend of ours who lives up in Hamilton, who has a cat called Griffin. So we did him in grey. This was my retreat finish that I had. Cute little one. And this was the one that I was rewarded with encountering dragons because I had finished Orca from Artisi. Absolutely love how that's finished. And the other big finish that I have is Mini Kitty Magic, which I have been doing for a few years, and I didn't leave enough up the top or bottom, and I ended up having to sew some fabric on it so I could finish stitching him. So that's right, I'll frame him. And this is Mini Kitty Magic from Heaven and Earth Designs. Love the green eyes. Really, really happy with that finish. Again, I do tend to try and have my backs look tidy. Don't generally show my backs. So that is actually all the stitching that I've done, except for, like I said, one I can't show because it's the Christchurch Stitching Retreat piece, and the other piece I can't show is because the person's already received it. And, and that's okay. Now I'll get on to my Clever Miss 15. She decided that she was going to make everybody Christmas presents this year. And she generally does every year. But this year, I think she went over and above what she thinks she's good at doing. She made a potted plant doing crochet. And it's got a separate little bowl and you can swap the pots out. The reason why because she made this one for me and she made this one which is literally hanging flowers in its own pot but I can swap them out if I wanted to how clever is that? she doesn't think she did much but I think she's an amazing girl to be able to figure this out She's so clever. She crocheted my husband a dinosaur. A black and red dinosaur. So cute. This one is... This one's Kendra's. She made Kendra a teddy bee. A pink and white teddy bee which they go to bed with every night now and she made Miss Ten, my little helper today a grey and white teddy bear, all crocheted and she's also made her father something I don't know what yet, she'll tell me when I next see her and her grandmother and her brother and I know she's made, dare I say it her boyfriend a dragon which I'm looking forward to actually seeing but that's okay so that's that one guess I should get on to haul now there's no way I'm going to be able to show all the haul that I've received over the last few months um, because I can't remember half of what I've got now but that's right but I did get my silk of the uh, season silks from silks for you and I know many of you have already seen this because I know Dizzy Stitch has shown them and I know Cal stitches has shown them. This was the little needle minder that we got, Snowflake. And all the pretty colours. It's a nice variegated one. Whoops. That's PR117. 
didn't pick that one up, dropped. This one is September seasonal pack, September 2023. Uh, seasonal pack, the WIN, the Winter 002. This one's the Winter 001. Really awesome bluey tealy colours. Really nice grey, PR150. And this one was just PR170, which is like a, a grey blue, almost like a winter blue. It's really nice. And this one's PR134, which is um, purpley greys. Variegated thread. I've actually had a friend of mine who suggested to me that I should design something with all these silks together. Well, think on that one. I'm keeping them together, so that might be something I'll do. The other ones I got were from my work. Now, they're not normally just used as embroidery threads, but they're a silky thread, and I thought these would actually be perfect for black work. The colour's not showing right. So I picked these up from my work. So I've got two of each, they should last a while. And it's a rayon silk, 250 yards. Doesn't have a meterage on there. So I got that colour. Pale pink, apricot pink, a mauvey colour. A purple because there was only one left. Coppery colour, it's a metallic copper. It's showing darker on the camera. A blue. There's two. I've got three of these because that was the only ones they had left. It's a tealy green. And a nice cobalt type blue. That's the only disadvantage of where I work. I don't often come home with nothing. Much to my husband's amusement. But we'll leave them there for now. Whoops. If they don't roll off the couch. The only other one that I got recently is the chart and bead pack for Blackbird by Nora Corbett. Got all the beads to do her. I just need to order the silks. I know I've got other things, but like I said, can't remember them all and I haven't done a video for a while. But hoping things are a lot smoother this year. If you're wondering what all the clicking is, it's my daughter playing Minecraft with the volume right down. Miss 10. Bloody Minecraft, I tell you. The only other thing I've got is got myself a planner. Got some nice stickers. So I can sort myself out hopefully with um, keeping a bit more organised with stuff. Now, the other news I've had is in regards to my Etsy shop. I have got a fair few new designs in there. I've taken a few down. Um, don't really want to go into the discussion of why I've had to take them down, but that's okay. We'll move on and do better. So, a new one that I've got is Butterfly Sprite. I bought some images which allows me to chart them up. So I've bought the license to use them. And this is Sprite, Butterfly Sprite. Christmas Cardinal. And the next one is as of a, is, um, a chart up of something that I had painted myself, which is a mandala. Now the next few that I will be showing is I have 
been talking to a gentleman from Unfocused Photographic Art who's in the US and I sent him a message uh, early by the late November early December in regards to charting up his art and at the time I was the only one that had messaged him about it which lucky I have because within a week others were messaging him and so we have an agreement where I am charting up his art so if there's anything that you wish to have charted from unfocused photographic art please feel free to send me a message or send Bill T. Pullman a message apologize if I've got that wrong and so Bill and his wife do absolutely amazing art and I've, yet, I've got to pick one to actually stitch and that's really really hard considering what he has available so so far we have stitched not stitched sorry we have charted up Symphony of the Sovereigns and I know this one's been quite the favourite we've also charted Gnarly the Gnome which has also been quite the favourite Whispers of Chroma Yuletide Dreamweaver love the colours in this one Rainbow Drake Regal Rooster I'm actually tempted to stitch this one colours in him are just stunning. A neon Grove. Harmony of Chaos. I actually asked if he could do something to do with a violin considering my 10 year old plays the violin and I thought it would be pretty cool. So I'm really really pleased with how well that one turned out. Fractal Feathers. Dreamweaver Steed Enchanted Guardian These are all available if you message me directly or in my Etsy shop also and also on Unfocused Photographic Arts website as well which I will put in the description below. We have Celestial Raptor that's with the background but we've also done one without the background so that if you don't wish to do all that black or 939 then you don't have to. Bluebird Wonder which is also a background removed one. Antlers of Avalon An Enchant Enchantress Kiss Chromatic Orchid Orchid Sorry Jacko's Timberland He's a pretty cool looking cockatoo. Darren, Dizzy Stitcher, you should do this one. You seem to love cockatoos. Silent Whispers. Love owls. That's a really cool one. Winter's Whisper. Who doesn't like a good sounder? Silken Feathers Fractal Bee Dazzling Dragonfly Enigmatic Elegance
lovely blue jay Luna Symphony A Sweet Encounter A Love Story Cardinals Such a pretty bird And I have since corrected the page on this but this is harmonious heron I know I didn't change the top leg but it is a harmonious heron but that has since been changed on the um, file so that is all the charts that are currently available apart from the original designs that I have up there um, the other originals that you've already seen I think that's everything maybe it's not going to be as long as I thought it was going to be so yeah I have a child that's starting year 12 this year that's scary for her she had her dance recital at the end of last year and she did it absolutely amazing she had three dances to do and my favorite would be second and third the second one she was just sassy full of attitude and the last one she was just beautiful and stunning um, she does ballet and lyrical and she was just absolutely gorgeous uh, Chelsea had a really good year with her violin playing and she'll keep going this year with that and she, she's just done an amazing job and she did have a competition last year and she got a really really good score she got 89% out of 100 which is really really cool so we're just hoping for bigger and better this year from them all but They'll do great either way. Um, loving my job still. Uh, don't stitch as much as I would normally stitch because I'm doing a lot of charting now which is really really good because I'm actually really enjoying doing this charting and I'm really happy to have this arrangement with Mr Bill and Linda and looking forward to just making it better this year and continuing with that arrangement and I'm enjoying putting out charts for people to stitch off his art because his art is amazing and, and his wife's art is absolutely amazing um, so yeah go check them out go check their art out put in requests and I'll get them charted as I can because um, I do have a few there sitting there waiting for me to chart up which I'll get to onto once I've got my video uploading and we'll go from there so thank you if you're still hanging around watching thank you for all the subscribers thank you for all your lovely comments with my other videos um, hopefully this year I'll be able to get more videos up and you know let's hope this year's better for everybody so with that in mind happy stitching to everybody and do what makes you happy do what makes you happy Catch you later, guys.